And Shelton, about 25% of that city is in the dark tonight. The mayor is fired up wanting UI to act quicker to get the power back on. News 8's Bob Wilson is live. Here we go, right? Take it away, Bob. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he, he, you know, he, he's pretty fired up, and he took a lot of people to, to task, including UI, and all of a sudden, the cavalry has arrived. I kid you not, in the last, like, two and a half minutes, the trucks backed up. They came in here, uh, gangbusters, and they are working. They're very close to getting the power back on here. They actually have it on now. They have to turn it off so they can hook on more people and then turn it back on again. But right now, you can see a lot of activity here, a lot of work. The guy is getting ready to go up in the buckets right now. They have to de-energize the line first, bring it back up. And the mayor says, you know, it's nice to see this much activity because for the last four days, he says he's seen nothing and he's pretty frustrated about it. We all understand that this is a, a, a monumental task, but you got to level with people and you got to say, hey, it's going to be four more days. It's going to be two more days because they have to prepare for that. And we have to help prepare those who don't have the ability to. So that's, that's where my, my frustration comes now, when you take a look at all of this around here, you can see you see all these lines. These are actually phone lines, cable lines. These have not been rehung. It's the three lines way up on top, the power lines that have been put back up on the poles. They had to actually change out the poles, put in a new pole, remove the tree that was here. It was not an easy task. They now have it back up and running, and hopefully, fingers crossed, these people will have power by the middle of the night or even, the, even in the next couple of hours. They don't want to put a timetable on it because it's difficult to stay on top of it as they keep removing the trees from the lines. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Shelton, News 8.